Today we will look at the workflow for how to scan models with PrimeScan for a complete upper and a complete lower denture. So if you wanted to use your PrimeScan as a handheld scanner rather than uh, an intraoral scan, you can pour up your models as you traditionally would, and then you can go ahead and utilize your PrimeScan for actually scanning each one of those models. So what we've done is we've created on purpose um, holes on the model base for both the upper and the lower. Keep note of that as we will use that for a way to stitch together um, our buckle bite with our wax bite rim. So with this workflow, somebody like a dentist or a denturist would, or a laboratory as well too, um, would essentially still create models and a wax rim the traditional way. So they would take impressions traditionally with alginate or PVS, pour those up into stone, um, and then have it mounted to be able to create your wax rim. So here you can see scanning the model uh, base where those holes have been uh, generated just with a carbide burr. And those will give reference to the scanner when we are taking uh, the scan for the actual wax rim as well too, which will of course capture our vertical dimensions. So for a complete denture in the InLab software, you will be required to have a lower jaw, an upper jaw, and a buckle bite scan of some kind. Uh, so in this case, we are relying on a wax rim. So here you can now see the upper jaw is starting to be scanned. And the same dots are noted on the model base, which will make stitching that much easier for the wax rim scan. For the wax rim, if you instead had existing dentures that you were using as kind of your bite, it would still work the exact same. You would just basically articulate those onto the models uh, and then scan those vertical dimensions that way. Here today though, we have a traditional wax rim. Now with the prime skin, of course, you're able to see exactly where any missing data has not been captured yet. So you're always able to just go back to those same spots and fill in those details. Now, when it comes to the buckle bite scan, when you have the wax rim on top of your two models and they're hand articulated at that point, you do want to make sure that when it comes to the bite, you do get uh, check marks on both, uh, uh, both sides of the arch. The reason being is that this will just give a more accurate reading of the actual vertical dimensions. So here now you can see the wax rim has been placed onto the models and we're purposely capturing those dots on the upper model and then we're making our way towards the lower model. Same thing, we're reaching all the way down to those uh, reference dots. Again, this just gives more uh, detail to the system in order to stitch. So you will notice at this point we did get a green check mark on uh, the, the left side of the patient's arch. However, we do want it on both sides to um, really just securely know that we've captured a good bite uh, from both uh, aspects of the arch. So at this point now, we've got our vertical dimensions. So we would be ready to proceed through to the connect portal to be able to, of course, send to the InLab software where we can then design our complete upper and our complete lower denture. So this has been scanning with the PrimeScan, scanning models physically for digital impressions. Thank you.